This is my brother Marty, the one who trained me up. You owe everything to him. Or the other way, you can forgive him. <laughs> I've been putting this off for a long time. Partly because they've got a cry button up here somewhere. (laughs) (laughs) No matter how hard you try, it gets you sooner or later. A few years back, uh, pretty much my whole world fell apart. I had a wonderful life, all that. But I ended up, through my fault and others, uh, lost my home, lost my job, lost my business, lost my wife, lost my kids. And uh, it wasn't so much that I lost a lot of it. I just finally just threw up my hands and walked away and said, Lord, I give up. I've been trying to make this work, and it just didn't. So I moved to Lisland. I figured that was as good a place as any to hide out. (laughs) Nobody bothers you there. And... uh, (laughs) I thought it was a safe place just to hermitize myself and go on with life. <clears throat> and one of the fears that that overtook me was that I kept asking God, "Is am I good enough? Am I good enough to start over in life? Am I good enough to get over the hurts of the past? Am I good enough to run a business by myself? Am I good enough to press on with a new relationship if that should come? And like I said, I I basically gave up on everything. I walked away from the church, walked away from friends, family. And one of the things that I really hated to give up was going to my brother's on Sunday afternoon. And I remember, I think the cry button's over there. (laughs) (laughs) I remember calling him up one day, and I said, this was kind of in the midst when all of us going on, I said, is it okay if I still come over on Sunday afternoons? And what I was really asking is, because I thought I was an embarrassment to the family and didn't want to be a downer on my nephews and nieces and other people in the church that were in there. But I really hated to miss out on it. And he just laughed and said, oh, you're always welcome. And what he was saying was, is you're you're good enough to come. And um, I've been doing... some heart meditations lately. For those of you who haven't begun that, today's a good time to start. And you go to a quiet place, you relax your mind and your body, your spirit, and you just ask Jesus to come visit you. And I started going to the Gilmore place, Hmm. which was the name of one of the farms that we had bought. I think it was because it was the only farmland we had that we didn't farm, and it was a place that was kind of a reprieve from the slave camp. (laughs) And I just sat on the bank, and I waited for Jesus to come. And he's come, and one of the things I asked him after he sat there a while was, am I good enough? Am I good enough to go on? Am I good enough to get over the past? Am I good enough? And he doesn't speak to me. In fact, I've, I see him coming, but I know, even as he's standing beside me, I never see his face. And he doesn't speak words like some may have. And he just listened to me share my concern. And in my spirit, I didn't feel condemned that I'd asked the question. I didn't feel ashamed of it. And he just said, I have a question of my own for you. 
And he said, it's kind of similar to yours. He just said, am I not good enough? Am I not enough? When you're all alone and all is gone, am I not enough? If you want to press on in business, and you're by yourself. He said, am I not enough? And I was reading a book on love and marriage by Alistair Begg, who's an old reform. He's not old, he's younger than I am. Great reform preacher. And uh, he suggested I read some scripture, and you'll recognize it when I start reading it. And it's the one you shared today, Deb where it says love is patient, love is kind. And really, it's if God is love, then God is patient and God is kind. And if Jesus is in me and I am in him, then it reads something like this. Marty is patient. Marty is kind. Is not jealous. Marty does not brag and is not arrogant. He does not act unbecomingly, does not seek his own, is not provoked, does not take into account a wrong suffered. He does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth. He bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Marty never fails. Anyway, that's how it reads to me. Get out of here.